How far is that? So that is 200 feet. Jeez. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another episode. I'm here with my brother Ethan here. And he's got his own YouTube channel. What is it? Mountains of Marsh. All about outdoors, hunting, fishing. Check it out. Yeah, he's going with me down to this mine shop today. We're pretty excited. Both of us. A little nervous. <laughs> excited, I think, would be the wrong word to use. <laughs> but we're going down that bad boy right there. So we'll shut the camera off and get going. If there's something really cool, I might try to film it going down. I'm a little skeptical. I've already dropped one camera down there. I don't want to make it two. <laughs> so I'll see you guys at the bottom. He's dropping down the extra rope that we're going to be hauling backpacks and uh, bucket with and a spare rope in case we need it. Hey guys, so we rappelled down in there about 60 feet or so, maybe 65, 70 at the most, and we saw some things that stopped us that we couldn't see on the top here. A lot of the lumber that they had used to make this has, you know, a lot of it's fallen in, and it kind of bird nested, uh, blocked the path a little bit. We had uh, the uprights that kind of guide the, the skip car coming up. They were swaying, barely connected, so we'll have to either cut them out or something like that. I tried to knock all the loose boards out and I couldn't get them to fall, but it was pretty sketchy with those. I didn't want them to come down on me. I didn't trust it. So we'll have to see what the future brings with this one. It will take a lot more work to get to that first level than I thought. And looking past that first level, it looks pretty plugged up down there. The rock looks stable, it's just all the stuff that's falling down. So I don't know what next step with this mine will be. We're definitely going to keep looking for other ones that are more accessible. Um, so stay tuned. Today we were out here in the hills uh, just exploring, having a good time, and we came across this mine dump. And so I thought we would check it out. I don't know anything about this mine. Uh, I've been around this mining district quite a bit in the past. But I didn't know this mine was here. So we're, we'll go check it out. See what's inside. If we can get inside. And maybe check the surrounding area as well. So let's get going. So you can see this little goalie that they dug out. And right up here in front of us, looks like, is the mine. Uh, would have been a lot of work to dig this out, even though it was all dirt. Oh. So it looks like someone put the culvert pipe here. I don't know whether that was to gain access or if it was caving in or what was going on. Um, but the mine itself, once you get to pass that, looks really good shape from what I can see. So it goes back about 20 feet of pipe until it hits the attic. But the cold air coming out of here is insane. It's about 75 degrees out outside and then you get here. And you almost need to put on a jacket just sitting here. So, that's kind of nice feeling, being out here in the hills. We're going to take a walk up the mountain. Uh, we saw what looks like uh, another mine dump or something interesting like that. So, we'll walk up there 
and see if we can find another entrance to this mine. So let's get going. Hey guys, we got up the mountain a ways. Uh, we're kind of directly in line with that uh, first adit I showed you guys. And we come up to another mine. But out here on the mine dump, you'll see someone has been up here sampling before. Got a pile of classified material here. I'm betting they just ran it through a dry washer or something up here. Not a big pile. Signs that someone else has already been here. We'll go take a look at the mine itself and see if we can get inside it. Find some real ore. So let's get going. So we found this little attic here. Uh, we're going to go slither into. Had a lot of dirt and stuff fall off the hill here. Um, but this mine goes uh, on a pretty south direction, whereas that first adit through the pipe was running east. And we're up quite a bit in elevation. I don't know if they connect at all or not, but we'll find out. And you can see here, kind of part of the vein they were chasing. I believe this is why they started digging here. Doesn't look too mineralized here stuff in the mine dump looked really good but looks don't really mean anything got to crush it up see what's in there or classify it down to where you have some material you can pan so we'll get going inside and hopefully there's something cool so it's pretty tight fit fitting through that hole guys little brother's coming now not much room as you can see got a lot of dirt in a lot of places I didn't want it to go but tunnel looks or the attic looks pretty good um, so far so right here you can see the separation between a couple of the different types of rock you can actually see like a vein of it. it looks like it goes up to there kind of cool looking at different rocks and we'll keep going so we made it back in here a little bit 100 feet or so and we're noticing these little veins of I don't know sandstony type rock that they're not wide at all. I mean, like three, four inches. This one's about the same. But then it's surrounded by this uh, harder rock. Looks like, might be like limestone or something similar to that. Got just past uh, that clip of that sandstone I showed you. And I noticed right here in the roof are roots for the bushes trees up top um it's kind of interesting because it's pretty soft and then right here pretty big difference i don't know if this is what they were after or something else but we'll take samples and see what all we can find So we're coming up on a little junction here. Something goes off left, and then that keeps going straight. I haven't looked, so let's go see what's here. Looks like there's a little bit of a wooden door. Huh. Just a little room here. Which leads me to believe, with the door being here, this would have been the powder room for the dynamite. Uh, they keep it underground, so... They don't run into any issues keeping it on the surface. Kind of cool looking. Yeah, there's nothing here that it looks like they were chasing. I think it was just to store the dynamite. So we'll keep going down the main How old attic. Is that piece of cowboy boot? Hey, look at that. Well, it's square toe. And I have no idea. That's pretty cool. It's dried, but... Hmm. 
So we just came past the powder room and you got a little bit of an opening here. I'm guessing they took a bigger sample. It's possible it's just soft and caved in when they blasted. Um, but right here, it looks like it splits off to the left again. Got a little bit of a cave in there. Not too bad looking. Let's see what's around the corner here. Huh. Looks like it goes back quite a ways. Um, that right there looks like some mineralized rock. So, we'll, But we'll keep going down the main. Oh, the main one ends. Got some... Some type of metal strap here. Yeah, it looks like the main ad ended right there. So we'll go down the main tunnel, or that side tunnel, and see what else is there. So we're down that side at it. We're starting to get a lot of lumber, timbers. And looks like it starts to open up a little bit right here. We haven't seen anything that really stands out as to what they were chasing. Uh, there were several, several veins in that main attic uh, that it looked like they were following, but they kept going, so I don't know why they stopped going that way and continued on this way. Nothing seems to change um, unless they were just looking for something. So let's see what's up here, where it opens up. Oh, piece of an old tool. Uh, that's metal. It's that is pretty cool. An old pick shovel or something. You guys know what that is? Leave a comment. Let me know if you can tell. So, a lot of bigger timbers here. And I think I found what they were after. So, come on. Check out the stoking that they're doing here. So you got all these stoles, the ones going the crossway. Uh, you have your crush plates on the side, and there and there. You got like the wedge um, that will let them know if those are going to start kind of caving in. It also helps hold those in place. But early warning system right there. Those are some pretty gnarly trees. Uh, a little bit of caving in. Uh, but we'll go take a look. It doesn't look too sketchy. Got some writing above us there. Uh, U1, something in red. Look at this kind of different colored rock there. I don't know if that's what they were following. This solid quartz wall. Right there. Oh, here you go. It changes from that to this. Don't hit your head and knock some of these rocks down. Okay, you can stand up here. So they dropped winds down there. We'll go check that out in a minute. Um, but if you turn around and look at all the stoping. Uh, A2, I don't know. Narrow with narrow. I don't know what that means, but that looks like some pretty gnarly ore right there. Quite the timbering job here. So we got the little winds here. You had a rope there tying stuff up, and then behind it there looks like it caved in quite a bit um, probably had some type of windlass some hoist system here for the winds but it's caved in quite a bit you can see a ladder right there what's left of it and 
then it looks like it goes down a ways. So I think that's what they were chasing. I don't know if this hooks in with that original adit we were in or not. Because uh, we went pretty far to the south once we entered it. And I don't think we're lined up with it. But it is possible to connect. So we're going to take some samples of that vein there. And see if this is worth uh, filing a claim on. And seeing what else we can pull out of here. So... That's it for here. We'll see what else we can find outside. Hey guys, we just walked up the mountain a few hundred feet above that uh, stoke mine we were just in. And we found a lot of red rock, iron stained rock here. Um, you got a little pit here off my right, some off the left. Uh, it looks like they took, you know, some pretty extensive samples from here, decided it was worth mining, and then they drove that, uh, that adit in and cut over till they hit the vein. That's my guess. So we're going to take some samples from here as well, see if it's worthwhile, and go from there. So that's it for today's video. Until next time, keep it safe, keep it real, keep it in the gold.